Holy smokes, this is crazy. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. <laughs> What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist, all these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, people? Welcome to the channel. Y'all already heard the intro. I don't have to say anything else. Follow me up there, right there, right there, and right here. And I'm also on Twitter as the Real Ty Smith, my YouTube channel that I have. That's another one called Man, Husband, Father. Then I have a channel devoted straight to memes and funny things like that called Meme Stream Media. Yeah, that's me. It's kind of incognito, but it's me. Anyway, this right here is something that's pretty tragic, everybody. But I know folks have their feelings over this. Some of y'all gonna come with all kinds of different things. I know y'all are. But before we even get into that, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet and you're watching this make sure you hit that like button i'm gonna remind y'all again anyway so let's get ready to get into this because this is pretty bad y'all i know how people some some of y'all how y'all feel about her or whatever like that but former c uh former ceo susan yeah y'all know how to say this last name i i i, I volunteer and y'all to say it wojitski susan wojitski <laughs> y'all like dude why yeah susan wajiski uh susan wajiski son found dead in the uc berkeley dorm marco troper or tropper however you said 19 is remembered as a kind loving smart fun and beautiful human being the son of former youtube ceo susan Give me a second. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Where is? I'm pretty sure it's somewhere like in Google. Here we go. Susan Wojcicki. 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 Susan Wojcicki. Wojcicki. Susan Wojcicki. Susan Wojcicki. Okay. Susan Wojcicki. 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 Former CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcicki, was uh, her son was found dead in University of California Berkeley campus dormitory where he was a student, according to authorities. UC Berkeley officials confirmed to Fox News Digital that Wojcicki, a 19-year-old son, Marco Troper, died earlier this week. Wow, we just now getting this? They wanted to wait to autopsies and toxicology reports and stuff come out? I don't know. We're going to see. The university's police department said that a student in Clark Kerr dorm was found unresponsive at around 4.23 p.m., Berkeley Fire Department notified UCPD that they were attempting life-saving measures on the victim. The University of California Police Department explained in a statement, UCPD responded and Berkeley Fire Department pronounced the person deceased. Authorities say that no signs of foul play were found at the scene. In a Facebook post, Troper's grandmother, Esther Wojcicki, remembered her grandson as the most kind, loving, smart, fun, and beautiful human being. Our family is devastated beyond comprehension, the grieving grandmother wrote. Esther Wojcicki said that the Troper said that Troper was majoring in mathematics and was just getting started on his second semester of his freshman year. Marco's life was cut short and we are all devastated thinking about all the opportunities and life experiences that he will miss and we will miss together. She wrote Marco, we all love you and miss you more than you will ever know. In a statement to SFGAT SFGate, I'm going to say that. The morning grandmother said that drugs were in Troper's system at that time. In a statement to SF Gate, the morning grandmother said that drugs were in Troper's system at that time. He ingested a drug and we don't know what it was that was in it, she said. One thing we do know, it was a drug. Wojcicki, who served as CEO, Susan that is, of YouTube from 2014 to 2023 has four other children with her husband, Dennis Troper. Fox business reached out to the university of California police department, but has not heard back. I don't know what that is right there. That's something else right there. Y'all 
But that's her right here. Now, I'm going to keep it real. This woman right here was not liked. I didn't. I had personal things that I wrote to her. And I actually got a response from her about what was going on with my YouTube channel, which has still yet to be fixed. I don't understand when they tell you things like, oh, on my side, we see that you have 1.7 million subscribers that are not publicly subscribed to you. And that's why it looks different. I don't get all that. That's been over a year and a half ago. And it still has not been fixed. Anyway, the reason I'm saying this is that those of you, several of you who wrote me about this, to some of you that wrote comments saying things like, this is karma, uh, this is what she get for suppressing, you know, uh, free speech. This is what she get because of how she was doing YouTube. This is what she get when she was, uh, y'all, I'm serious. I'm, I'm keeping it real with y'all. When you wrote me and said things like, this is what she get for silencing you, Todd. This is what she gets for, uh, you know, banning your channel at one point. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, guys, that's not cool at all. I'm sorry, <clears throat> that's not cool. Somebody losing their child is devastating. She was doing nothing more than playing her role in what the elites was having her do. She caved into what they wanted her to do, and that's why the platform end up causing opportunities for other platforms such as a Rumble. Yes, YouTube's policies are absolutely ridiculous like no average person in their right mind without having special counsel is going to be able to understand everything that entails with youtube's policies they make it to where you don't know that you violated one of their policies until you do it i've read their policies on different several different occasions and and i read them and i think i got everything together and the next thing you know youtube would do something to Take something down. They de I'm, I'm instantly demonetized the minute I put a video up. Like, I could put a video up about kittens playing together, and it's instantly going to get the yellow slash through and everything. Demonetize. Your system is rated low, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter because my income and what I do don't come from YouTube, despite about what y'all might think. When y'all see the views and the subscriber number, trust me, I'm not making no money from YouTube. <laughs> Seriously. So, anyway, not like y'all know. So, anyway, my point in saying all that is that... In cases like this, nobody deserves the aha. That's what she gets. Good thing. Good. Blah, you know, then y'all had all kind of, well, there's a sacrifice that had to be made. This is a sacrifice that had to be made. Give up your such and such son for your success on YouTube. I don't know where y'all come up with that at, but no matter what, it's probably hugely going to be devastating to this woman. I don't know. We know how she was and how she operated within YouTube because a lot of things they did on there was completely off the rails and wrong. But to that young boy, this is mom and to her, that's her son. So to me, I can disagree with you all day. I can hate a lot of things that you do to where I don't have to be around you. I don't want to know you. We don't have to talk. We don't have to be in each other's presence, anything like that whatsoever. But one thing I will not do is wish death upon you and or your family. I won't do that. I don't, I don't play games like that. Life is way more important than me and you having differences on what we feel should be done in platforms like YouTube or what, whatever. Even just how we might disagree on our political affiliations and what we feel one party is over the other. One thing I will never do to anybody that's Democratic, I won't wish death upon them and wish death upon their family. Like right now, people cannot stand Joe Biden. I will not wish death upon Joe Biden. I will not wish death upon his wife. I will not wish death upon his family members, people that are on the right. I won't wish death upon Trump. I won't wish death upon anybody that's on the Republican Party. I won't wish death upon none of his children. None of that at all. Us disagreeing on matters that goes on. That stuff is nothing compared to me actually getting to the extent to where I want you to die unless you're trying to physically hurt me. That's a different ball game. But we're not talking about that. So in this case, to me, my opinion, prayers go out to her. Pray that God sends her family comfort in a tough situation like this. I pray that, they, they, that you know, the family, Susan, her uh, mom, the, the father, the children of her, that they just have comfort in this situation because this is absolutely terrible. Now, I know some of y'all will be like, I want to know what drug it is because I can guarantee you it might have been fentanyl. I don't know. We don't know. There was no foul play or anything like that. So to me, this looked like this was self-deletion. 
What are y'all thoughts? Whatever y'all thoughts are, do me a favor, though. Hit the like button if you like what I'm doing. If you like videos like this and other ones that I'm doing, consider subscribing. Last but not least, go into your cell phones. Go into the contact list. If there's anybody in your contact list in your cell phone that you have not told about this channel, please let them know about this channel if you would, please. That's all I have for right now, folks. Let me hear it. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter, but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Cause I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it and God bless you all.